You asked for it. Watch your back. It's kind of tempting to keep this because I have no four drops, so I can actually coin five drop. No, too soon. Is it too soon? I weapon on two, I play like the raider on three, I coin four drop. It's really inflexible. But this is my best five as a four. And this deck has no fours. I'm gonna keep it. That's oh, my one four drop. And here I am gonna spend my coin on turn one. Rip Shadow Pan. Two for one value of the knife. Kind of. Turn to a good curve. Here we go. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Hmm. What's happening? There's no point in that. Uh, I was debating hitting that divine shield, and it's like, yeah. No real point when I can't kill it this turn. Fire Blast should have gone towards the sapper. I am freed from the curse. This one's a little different since it still survives, but I'll hit face anyways. I have the Dark Iron Skulker. So there's less incentive to take that down in two stages. Not great, but okay. I serve the Fire Lord. This is a good card to play against a secret. It also takes things out of Fire Blast range. Sap Shadow Pan or Deadly Wanted. Shadow Pan. Dead or alive. Ooh. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Yes. You're in trouble now. Rips both my taunts. Yeah. This provides the most power out there. Five, one, two? Nah, I really want to get this out. Guess I just spend the holy night light on myself now. It's fine. Where to combo wombo. We are the sword in the shadows. I serve the fire lord. Hmm. Okay, he only has one spell left, which means I can just give him a 3-5 and then have this hit that. That's okay. My magic will tear you apart. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. My magic will tear you apart. Into the breach. Here we go. Are open. My eyes are open. Thank 
goodness for that holy light. My magic will tear you apart. My magic will tear you apart. My magic will tear you apart. Here we go. My magic will tear you apart. I am ready. Mistakes. Here. Ah! Like at this point, you're just thinking, all right, and to play around exactly Blackwing, Deathwing, which is kind of silly. How many other people mulligan eviscerate? I wonder if I want to know. Huh. It's an efficient card to remove bigger cards, I think. Which is why I get rid of it. Hmm. Okay, this looks like it's a turn two into a turn three. And then I'll save this for turn four, and then that turn five. It's a little slow, but good enough. Yeah, he's got a slow start as well, so it looks like this uh this strongness should do well. Here we go. Tough to deal with uh six seven on turn four. When I've already got this. kind of nice. If he doesn't remove his own ambusher, he's going to get anti-tempo a lot. And if he sends the 5-5 five five into the 6-7, then that's probably going to be a 2 for 1 for me. 2 for 1 for me. Oh, assassinate. That's an answer. I haven't seen that card in a while. Alright. I'm willing to take the 5 again. Just to, Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll... Uh. It'll hit him in tempo a lot. I go down to 10. Yeah, it stings, but I'll be ahead. And the important part is having board control. The other play to make would be something like Wolf Rider, hit, and then like play a 2-drop. But then he plays something big, and then he leaves eventually. Huh, he uh, passed up again. Alright. That probably should have gone face. He's playing a board-centric style, too. He's been uh, careful not to play any minions. Alright, well... Let's do this. Hodo Rider? Or possibly... Knife Juggler Cult Master. Or Gilblin Stalker Cult Master. So many options. Uh, with this amount of health, I don't think I can worry too much about... ...getting a value. So I should just play on curve. And this card's slightly better than this card right now? Kind of? 
Or I could just play this. Get it done. Let's get Okay, so that's 16 over 4 turns. I'll just have to threaten him with enough stuff. Put this apple on your head. Here I get busted with Blade Flurry pretty hard, but that's so rare. I have lethal. No, I don't. Oh, up to ninja now. 3, 9, 12, 16, uh, 18. 3, 9, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, that's always lethal. Okay. Because of the knives. Oh, do this first. Or no, never do that. Right, right, right. It's not lethal if I miss all the knives. Or no, even if I missed all the knives, I could just do six into that. And Yeah, probably coin tank. Mind if I roll need? Here we go. With this deck, I am really incentivized to keep the coin for turn four for a five drop. I wonder if I should have just hit that. No, because he might just remove my spider tank. Hmm, now the Defender of Argus doesn't work quite as well. I think I'm gonna still coin out the five drop. The other play is Cult Master hit hit, but if I uh, ignore attacking this, I can take advantage of the ogre's dumbness. So the ogre could hit any of them, and that would be a good attack for him. But having just the Cult Master out, it seems too weak. It would be a lot easier if I had one of my many five drops in my hand. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. I actually hadn't even realized I have an option here, too. I'll take this option. Could've hit face. But this is better. Probably. What lurks in the Nice. Drew a two-drop. To go with this. This uh, Defender of Argus is going to be really important. Special delivery. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, save the four too. Here we go. Too bad for him. Oh, -ho, that's tempo. Join or die, or both. To battle.
I wonder if I could have planned out that turn to better deal with this guy next turn. So I had to have Sap, which means I had 5 mana. None of these plays would have made sense for 5 mana. I think. Knife Juggler, Defender of Argus, hope that one of them. Or maybe just hit face with both. And weapon up. Hit him for 11. He has to get through both of them. It seems alright. If I do hit him... It's interesting, like, if I if I hit the knife, I wonder if I even... If I even trade. Probably do. <sighs> so this is going here. Alright, I'm feeling brave. Today, I don't have to be a princess. Your mother was a murloc. Burgle, burgle. Burgle, burgle. These are good cards, but not together. What lurks in the depths? Huh? Into the breach! Here we go. That wins me more than the game more often here. Probably by taking three. Dangerously low, but I have a taunt. And without hitting that three, I risk not getting lethal. None Should I have hit with Argus first on that turn? That's a good point. I should have. Well, In increase the knife odds. Yeah. Valera versus Jaina. You asked for it. Watch your back. Oh, I drew the four drop. Hey, this is actually a curve. This is the first time I've curved in this arena perfectly. I'm like thinking back. I don't remember this happening yet. Hmm. Probably keep this guy hidden and just play Sapper. If he has a weak turn, then I can uh, go Defender of Argus and wreck him. But surely he wouldn't have coined this out without a follow-up 2-play. Unless his 2-play is Frostbolt, and he can't target Giblin, Gilblin Stalker because it's too sneaky. Based on the amount of time he's thinking, maybe he's got two different plays. To do. Or maybe he has no plays. Hmm. Confused. <laughs> oh, that's a frost bolt. Okay. Doesn't actually have to do anything here. Oh, he was thinking about missiles. Which seems like it would have been a really bad idea last turn. I think I just go Defender of Argus. No, I'm gonna go Maiden of the Lake and then not do anything again. I am freed from the curse. So next turn I'm going to have either Weapon Raider Eviscerate, or Weapon Defender, or even just Silverhand Knight. Lots of possibilities. Runs out on me. Yeah. Okay, in this case, looks like Weapon Blood Sail Eviscerate will be perfect. Almost perfect. Ooh, Sap. Could do a Weapon Sap Raider. Probably makes more sense to Eviscerate when it's possible to kill it like this. And I have the combo, which is not trivial. Here we go. Take 
Got value out of my maiden. One mana savings. It's like a three mana two six kind of. I Goblin Stalker feeling very sneaky. It's, it's basically a Morgan Infiltrator right now. It's okay. I think he's finally found his mark. Never mind. Well, yes. Actually, there's two different plays here. I'm incentivized to keep a high health minion because, uh, a flame strike, but we're not on turn seven yet. Could split the difference, use this, and then play Silverhand Knight. That's fine. Here we go. Squire, attend me! Ready, sir. I want to play the Ogre Ninja on turn 6 where it can't get flamestruck off the board. And this this crew is good to play now. And I'll try to keep a high health minion so I can get Defender of Argus. It's important to do the order correctly. You want to play the Silverhand Knight before you can play the flamestrike. The exact order of uh, the exact attack pattern there is planning a few turns in the future. It's all about whether or not to play around flame strike. Uh yeah, fine. Uh, if you insist. I keep the deadly poison. I might draw assassin's blade, so I think I don't use it yet. Should have put the ogre ninja in the middle, probably, but small point. Oh, he didn't kill off my 4-1. I think that's a pretty big error. But he does draw a card. Unless I sap. I'd like to get use of my 4-1. could sap a Noitron. Send this guy in. Play Vaporize. Hmm. But saving sap... This is okay. Whenever I have a one health minion against the mage, I really, really, really want to use it, but in this case, I guess I'll let it go. I also kind of wanted the Defender of Argus to put that out in range. Okay, so that's 6, 8, 11. So that's, that's lethal. Wait, is it always lethal? 6, 8, 9, 10, 4, 7, 8, 9. Okay, it can play all of it. So that's 6, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 16 damage. Uh, he has 17. I wonder. Actually, he has more. So, not lethal. Sometimes. My shield for Argon. Question is do I sap? No, because if I miss, I miss anyways. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, that doesn't work. That's only 11 damage. Alright, so, go. Oh, okay. I will fight with honor. Watch your... Oh, oh, what a hand. I'm up against a paladin. Dagger Onage. Just the 2-2. Two, two. 
Even with just weapon up here, I'm still in the lead. Who calls it dagger mastery? You should call it weapon up. Weapon up. Yeah, another freebie. Um. I actually considered eviscerate the fire stream leader for a moment. But no. I have to think about whether or not I wanted something that could be stealth. This turn doesn't seem important. To have a hidden guy. I'll play it straight up. <sighs> One small puzzle is going to be how to combo both the Shadow Pan and the Defias. That's unfortunate. It's a good way of dealing with my Pit Fighter. Ogre Ninja would have worked. Hmm, that's... It's alright. Huh. Or... No. Oh. I can wait for more. So many. Well, I almost played the Dark Iron Skulker there, but that would have been a misplay. <laughs> this is a good turn to uh, play a stealth guy since I want him not to be able to train. Gotta calibrate my greed levels. Well met. Definitely almost missed out on good Reporting greed value. For Reporting for duty. Not even greed value, just missed out on value. Uh, I really want to kill the Silverhand region, but I could have eviscerated and then Dark Iron Skulker Stalker. Or I could Dark Iron Stalker and then it's oh, dumb either way. Maybe I just play Tiger Eviscerate. Oh, that's fun. And then I do nothing. That's what I call value. And this is so fun, like working with stealth and having to and having AoE in the hand. It's really interesting. You must cleanse the sun well. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. Guess I have to use my weapon here. Behind you. Okay. Six against the paladin. It should be okay. It's not like I have a choice. Well, actually, I do have a choice. I can just go face. If I go face, fourteen, then I have fifteen. Hmm. Uh, what would I play? I'd probably play pit fighter. Fire string leader hero power. I'm gonna do that either way. I'll have 6, 11, 16, 18. I'll have enough for lethal anyway, so. Behind I think this you. removes a few possibilities. Um, but Ogre Ninja has a chance of missing. But I do have some extra damage in the form of Assassin's Blade. Behind you. Here we go. You're in trouble now. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it plays around Blessing, but if he has Blessing, it's only 4 damage, so he would have to have exactly Blessing and then 2 more damage also. So if I hit Face, I feel like I have an additional chance at Lethal, but this stuff on the board adds up to 20, and I have the 3 from the Assassin's Blade, so that's 23. But if I miss with the 6, then that's only 17, which is off Lethal. So... There are definitely some pros and cons to killing and not killing there.
But there's also the consideration of it's really hard for Paladins to even get that much damage anyways. And if he has something that has... if he plays something with only 5 health, then Ogre Ninja gets him there anyways. They'll never know what Okay! Um, this is a 50-50 at the win. Um, 5, 10, 12, 14, 17 is the best I can do. So, this first... This one! This one. Nice! <laughs> your soul shall be mine. Watch your back. Hey, I got coined to five stream leader first time this arena. It's pretty good. Do I have to? Oh, turn one blood imp. Actually scary. The classic. Yeah, beat it. I've been doing this play since two years ago. I feel like I have to kill that with the fast card, because otherwise he just gets it for free. Yep. Not for free, because I can always weapon up and uh, poke it for one. Well, no, because he has the Blood Imp. That Blood Imp. If he plays something with 5 health right now, I can't deal with it. Blood Imp uh, doesn't work. Oh my gosh. Yes. Looking at me. Bold play. Oh, this is a mech. Oh, I should have used this to hit. No, not necessarily. Do I want to hit this now? No. Yeah. A fail cannon. Ha ha. That mm. might have been a better play. Hit it with the Defy Stringler to play the spider tank. And then it's guaranteed to shoot whatever he plays. Oh my god. What? Wow. This, oh. Ah. Interesting. Huh. Well, this is fun. Okay. I'll play the 50 50 that it hits the Tiny Knight of Evil? Is that correct? I think so. Uh, Tiny Knight of Evil synergy. For the king. Wow. If he hit the Tiny Knight of Evil, I'd have saved myself from uh, three weapon and four health. If he hit the Stormwind Knight, I could hit that and then... Um, it would be kind of tough to get rid of the one health guy still. I am perfectly fine with using Ogre Ninja to kill the Imp. Saparu. Tempo Tempo. This one. Dumb Imp die. Oh. You're in trouble now. Ogre Ninja with lethal on the board. This is a very common situation where Ogre Ninja has always prevailed. Oh. To get rid of that. Let's get moved. 
Well, when I said we have to get rid of that, it was optional. Three, six, seven, ten. Three, six, it's ten, still. But here come the Kodos. I'm like a paladin with this button now. Summon a 3 5. Oh. Where? Where? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's actually gonna come down to a 50-50. Wait, wait, wait. Did I make a mistake? Somewhere in this turn or the last turn I might have made a mistake. Probably the last turn. Well, this is unlucky. But, not that that mattered too much. Why use face? I needed to get the dam. Uh, no, I didn't realize that I couldn't kill another thing. Okay, well, now I reverse 50-50, I guess. Oops. Oh my gosh. What a disaster. Okay, I made a I possibly made a mistake both turns. Oh, this is tough. Well, I've been winning coin flips. Just need to win one more. Yes! Oh man! Ogre doesn't want to win. <laughs> Deserved. Watch your back. I will be your death. Hmm, I wonder if Weapon Up or Loot Hoarder is better. It's not even that obvious still. Probably Weapon Up is better. That's eviscerate. Then we've got a problem. Oh. Mind if I roll me? Yeah, beat it. Let's get started on this one. Everything does too, so probably good to get the stuff down to two. Hmm. Here we go. All right. Do I play the five or the two and a three? And then if I play a two and a three, which three do I play? Is this that necessary to get rid of right now? This three seems to accomplish very little. I wonder. Next turn I can play that three and this three. I have more time than it looks because I have plus five health. So many. You're in trouble now. Special delivery. <laughs> oh. Three, five, seven, eight. Could go Maiden Stalker. 
Would he trade all three of these in? I don't think he would. The other play is Wolf Rider, Gob Goblin Sapper. But the problem with that is... I guess there's no real problem with that. That looks good. Next turn I... Oh, there was a problem with it. Oops. I was gonna play this and this, but I only have seven. I guess I played this and this. The Bane of the Lake would have been really good to buff with Defender of Argus, but... Hard to say whether or not she'd stick around. For Blackwing. Oh, that stinks. So we're looking for Saparuni here. Do like still survive, right? 13, 11. Survive in theory. Here we go. Theoretical survival is best survival. It's actually worse survival. His opening was insane. Well, I'll take it. I think I optimistically guessed 9, and now that I've played through all of them, that guess was really optimistic, but the optimism paid off. <laughs>